Hmm, I wonder what might get destroyed on Friday the 13th or not get destroyed. Who knows what God's plan is up to. But watch as well as pray concerning the things of God. If those, you know, the scripture says, blessed are those that, hey, my friend. All right, being easy. All right. Uh, uh, that uh, the 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 uh, beatitude says, "Blessed are those that uh, are pure in heart, for they shall see God." And what y'all don't re what people don't realize, it means Jesus is saying that you, if your heart is pure, you will know how to identify the things of God. You you will know what is of God and what is not of God, but your have, you have to be pure in heart. See, try to make it wrong. All right, that's not the message, but oh, but it may be pertaining the message. The ideal subject might be pertaining the message because the topic of this message is teaching you about the true. Let me see. Ah, uh, okay, the praise and worship factor. Yes. Oh, this is important. Very important to understand the praise and worship factor. You know, here's the thing that I want to talk about and mention. Um, Lucifer, oh, the angel the, that fell down as what Jesus said, he saw him fell down fast as lightning. Well, he was, you know, in heaven, he was more like a praise and worship leader. And what people don't realize, well, people know that, but they don't realize that. They, they don't, certain people don't realize that idea because they're not examining the ideal system of understanding that you now Lucifer is Satan. And the uh, uh, Bible talks about, uh, Paul talks about 2 Corinthians 4, 4, that the God of this world blinds the minds of men. But how is Lucifer, a.k.a. now Satan, is blinding the minds of men? Hmm. Could it be concerning the ideal position that he had on in heaven, that he's utilizing it in a different way? Could it be? Could it be that he used to be about praising, leading the angels into praising the Lord? But now he's leading people to praise thing, praise not God, but pretty much I call it the PT cruiser that I did a message on. It's called people and things. Yes, people and things. Now, now I know they got the you know car called the PT cruiser, but interesting about that name of PT cruiser that the ideal of cruising is that's the method the method and it's crazy how it lines up and how god satan is deceiving people of you you're cruising you're at a a cruising pace it's just like you know i'm cruising it's it's not too fast not too slow it's just an easy you know flow it easy flow and it's an easy and relaxing flow yes yeah, see Y'all easily relaxing at your house, easily relaxing at your car, easy relaxing with the things that you have, and easy relaxing watching the television, easy relaxing listening to the radio, easy relaxing on the internet, easy relaxing in your environment, and you don't even see, you can't even see. And watch this, you easy relaxing in your flesh. That's what makes it dangerous. Yes, the easy relaxing because it feels good to the flesh. And it's, oh, I'm just doing this thing of the earth and I'm just relaxing and everything's good, you know? Everything's great, you know? That, that is the method that Satan used now is pray now is getting pe people to praise themselves and others around them and watch this when you praise yourself and others around you you will want to seek praise from other people see and that's when the people pleasing 
system is kind of like the flesh pleasing and the people pleasing. You know what I'm saying? When you want your flesh to be pleased, you want people to be pleased by, pleased to you. You know what I'm saying? You want their yes and you want their no or their yes, you know? You want their acceptance. You want people acceptance. And that's the, no, I mean, one of the top methods Satan got people hungry and thirsty after the acceptance of other people. You know what I'm saying? That they, you, you, you are doing your best to look good based upon your outward appearance and or obtaining things that people like to get people to like you and love you and accept you and want you more and more and more. That everybody, many people are on the agenda. Many people are on the agenda for that purpose of whatever they're doing in life. They, and what you don't understand, that is a form of praise and worship. See, oh, what? Yes. I know it's not, you know, it's not church. You know, you go up in church and you start clapping your hands and, you know, it starts stumping your feet and you start worshiping. It's not that kind of ideal, but it's a system, a system that Satan how people praising and worshiping people. Now, let's talk about things. Now, uh, it's interesting. I wonder if teachers teach people about the horror of Babylon. Oh, man. What a teaching that probably is not being taught as much to many Christians about the horror of Babylon. Well, the thing is, I, I, I know why if there's not being taught the horror of Babylon. Oh, I, I have a good idea. I know why it's not being taught that. Because here's the thing. Your, uh, sy the system of the economic system, economic system. I did a message about that I discovered why, you know, um, you, you wonder why, you know, they... Uh, the tax season, you know, tax season happens every year. And why do at the end of April 15th, they stop tax season for some apparent reason? What, what, why they do that? Well, I did some researching and, and a whole lot of interesting stuff that people don't know about, you know, about ancient, you know, ancient Mesopotamian worship you know they they don't want you to know about that kind of stuff and you'll find out something quite interesting in Mes ancient mesopotamian worship that did they did something at a period of time for a purpose or worship to someone hmm yeah put the uh did some connection of mesopotamian worship at a particular time April 15th, um, yeah, I wonder who could be the reason who they're worshiping. Well, I'll give you a hint, you know. Well, the, the name Washington, D.C., is D.C. stands for Columbia. And Columbia is a goddess, surprisingly. I know you're shocked. I know you're shocked. Surprisingly, it's a goddess, you know. She's a goddess of freedom, you know. Freedom and liberty. Now, liberty for what? Liberty for to set people free from the bondage of something or to liberate, hey, liberate or to liberate people to believe an idea that they should be all about the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, pride of life. Because it's interesting, I see movies I see a lady Liberty figure, a Columbia figure, with her light, bear, her light thing holding up, and most of those movies are not influencing to have a closer relationship with God. But we're gonna leave that alone. But anyway, leave that for you to want to research. But the, uh, the ideal of the economic system is the ideal of the economic system is in. Wall, is Wall Street, Wall Street, yeah, and Wall Street. Now, where's Wall Street at? 
Wall Street is in New York City. New York City. I had to say, I had to do that. No, that was corny, y'all. Y'all ain't laughing at it, but I don't care. You ain't laughing at it because I like doing that. New York City. Wait a minute. It's interesting. There's a statue in New York City. Hmm, what's that statue? Oh, Lady Liberty is in New York City. Wall Street is in New York City. Wall Street is the place of where the economic systems of not just in the United States of America is, you know, uh, a flow through, but the world. <laughs> the world economic systems that people have money and, you know, people uh, have, go to stock markets and buy, sell, buy, sell there, all kind of stuff. Y'all have a wonderful day. All right. Buy, sell, buy, sell there, you know, with the one lady. And interesting, there's a place called that unites all the countries in the world. It's called the United Nations, and they held the United Nations in New York. For New York. New York, where the Lady Liberty is at. Hmm. Well, what I'm trying to say, well, things, which you don't realize your commercials, you know, advertising their products, advertising the things of this earth, or what you don't realize what a commercial really is, is to get to, they try to, you know, by praise the product. Yeah. Praise the product to get you to buy it. And they said, this cost, see, this cost this much. And you offer, you offer to buy this and you take it. You buy it and you receive it. But what you don't realize, the ideal of the economic system is the idea of the system of Babylon. And what you don't realize is an ideal of worshiping. Yeah, yeah. It's her. Yeah, you worshiping her concerning this system of that's going on in this world. But praise and worship factor of that is if what people don't realize is the economic system is controlled by her. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do your research or you don't care less to research the idea, or just keep participating in a system that is doing things contrary with God, putting up laws contrary with God. Uh, doing all kind of negative things contrary to God. Oh, they're they're about God. The United States is about God. You know, everybody's you know on that idea tip. How you doing? But are they? Hmm. Well, those that will want to know the truth will go seek and find it. But this is the praise and worship factor that Satan has been doing this throughout human history, establishing praise and worship uh, concerning people. And things he used in people and things throughout human history is not as what King Solomon says there's nothing new under the sun you know everything that's going on has been at a particular time it's just in a different method just Satan just switched the method and made it more unseen to those that do not question and just follow the lies of men you know God be truth every man be a lie and do not just do not question beyond their perspective but they see a lot of demise and bad things are facilitating in what's going on in the world today but like what's going on here you know we like to say but it it is written that's what i will say it is written concerning what the word of god says the word of god is what we're supposed to follow to know what true praise and worship is all about concerning the worshiping and praise and worshiping factor that's been going on. Satan's praise and worshiping factor, pretty much I'm going to top of this message that we need to understand has been going on throughout human history that we need to, as Christians, we need to be about uh, the true kingdom of God. Seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, all to be added. But what you got to understand about it, that what it says before, and why that God, why do you, God will bring provision, pretty much. The kingdom of God is about God bringing provision. It's about Philippians. Uh, for, God, for Philippians, God shall supply all our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We're supposed to be, the kingdom of God is supposed to bring a provision to the, to the people of God. But Christians are, and churches and ministries are encouraging the idea that we're supposed to be participating in a system that is about this economic country that's all about worship, praising and worshiping, not God, but pretty much Satan in Babylon.
There's the message. Hope you got it. Hope it made sense to you. To God be the glory. Him for whatever. Jesus. Amen.